presentation of AIT. These bunch of gigglers were also a bunch of gymnasts. <laughs> serious gymnasts. Pardon me. If they can manage to settle down, these serious gymnasts are going to give us a little demonstration. Ready, girls? Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, everyone. Time for the gymnastics show. Come on. Come on. All right. And woo! Yay! Wow, she's great. Yeah, tell me about it. Hi. It's not your fault. Okay, everybody. We'll finish later. Kezia is probably just upset because she couldn't do that trick. I'll bet she's just frustrated. What do you mean? She really wants to do that routine, but she hasn't got it yet. It's driving her crazy. I know how that feels. Huh? You do? I like to knit, but so far all I've been able to make is scarves. So, last week I decided to try a sweater. Well, everything was going fine. And then... <laughs> now that's frustrating. How about you? What makes you feel frustrated? I get frustrated when I'm trying to do math word problems. They're hard. When I'm singing a song and I forget the words, I get really frustrated. When I'm trying to explain something to my dad and he doesn't understand what I mean, that's frustrating. I try to take time every Tuesday evening to watch my favorite TV show. Usually I miss it. That's frustrating. I've tried to be friends with Naomi, but she ignores me. It's very frustrating. I tried out for the All-Star team and I didn't make it. That was frustrating. Anytime there's something you want to do and you find you can't, chances are you're going to feel frustrated, just like Kesia did when she couldn't complete that gymnastics move. But she shouldn't just expect to be able to do it. It's an advanced move. It's hard. You did it. Sure, but I've been practicing it for a long time. So you think maybe it wasn't realistic for her to try the trick? Not yet. I don't blame her for trying, though. Remember when I started baseball last year? Oh, yeah. You were going to be a big star. to bat in a big game before, but so what? I just knew I was going to be another Ken Griffey Jr., but it was sure different than what I expected. Disappear. Well, being frustrated makes me want to slam doors and throw things. It makes my stomach feel awful. 
I bet Kezia is feeling pretty bad right now. You think I should talk to her? Couldn't hurt. Go away. Kezia, I want to talk. Why bother? I don't want to do stupid old gymnastics anyway. Yeah, right. Sounds like a defense to me. A what? A defense. You know, the kind of thing you say when you can't do something. And you want everyone else, including yourself, to think it doesn't matter. Come on, we'll show you what we mean. Ladies and gentlemen, the story of King Derwin, the defensive. Yay! <laughs> Your Majesty, as your humble sorcerer, I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to make you feel any better. And why shouldn't I feel perfectly fine? Oh, no reason. No reason at all, Your Highness. Except, of course, for what happened this morning at the tournament. You mean when I fell off my horse? Sheer accident, I'm sure. Right smack into that mud puddle. <laughs> well, what of it? Jousting's a stupid activity anyway. I never liked it. Who would? Especially when the tournament judge wouldn't let you take do-overs. Judge Guinevere never allows do-overs. Judge Guinevere, phooey. What's she know about tournament rules? She just doesn't like me, that's all. Oh, no, your likableness. Everyone adores you. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you think of any other reason why she'd rule against me? <gasps> you mean like maybe you were wrong? Certainly not, O oh king. But it's just too bad you weren't able to win the tournament grand prize. The all-expense-paid trip to Oz. Who wants to go to Oz anyway? I hear it's a real bore. Do you have an excuse every time things don't work out for you? When you're frustrated, is this how you protect your feelings? That's his problem. Don't let it happen to you. The end. <laughs> Okay, okay. Maybe I was making excuses, but I just felt so frustrated. Is that what you think? Well, listen. When I first started gymnastics, I couldn't have stuck to the beam if you'd glued me to it. Come on, try again. It's all right. I'm sure you can do this. Concentrate. I can't do this. Maybe not. Huh? Steffi, you have good balance and good coordination. But if you're not willing to work, Steffi, just remember, you have to walk before you can run. My gymnastics teacher, Peter, taught me that I had to be realistic. I couldn't make the Olympics my first time out. But if I wanted to be on the gymnastics team, I had to make a plan. mom offered to watch me and give me some tips. Having her support was great. I decided to take two classes a week instead of just one. Concentrate, concentrate. That's it. That's what I want to see. And I made sure that when I did well, I got a reward. Great. You just accomplished step number one. I did? You set a goal for yourself. You want to get good at gymnastics. Of course, you could be a little more specific. You mean, like, I'm going to do a three-quarter turn on the bounce beam? Perfect. It's specific. It's clear. It's something you can work for. Why don't you write it down? That always helps me. Great. I want to learn the three-quarter turn by tomorrow. Whoa. Whoa. Cut yourself some slack. He's right, Keys. It could take longer to learn the turn. You don't want to set yourself up for being frustrated all over again. True. OK. I want to learn it in a week. Good, that's reasonable. 
Hey, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> That's right. Way to go. Gymnastics? Oh, yeah. You think I might even get good? Sure. Wow, you'll say anything to calm me down. Keith, yeah. Now, there's something I like to see. A nice, warm friendship. <laughs> <laughs> 